um, it will just be easy for maybe new people joining chaos eventually to be able to contribute. So one of the big projects we have at Plan, and um, the person handling that is one of the new guys that join us, Emmanuel, um, is trying to work on um, a more robust style system. Right. So we have projects like Badging, we have Ogo, we have um at least those two core projects. Our force is more like um Chaos Africa kind of thing, right? But for um Ogo, uh project badging. So if you've seen these two projects, um they sort of like share some level of similarity in terms of the style, uh, which is something we really hope to achieve, right? In chaos. So all our projects are gonna have um some similarity in terms of style and overall outlook. Um, but then um because these projects are still unique in its own way, so we still have um some style system that are kind of like project centric, right? So um so not just that we are fixing up design, we are creating a style system for every design we are doing. And that's actually a lot of work. And um that's actually ongoing. And then we are doing this and it's just kind of like scalable to every other project, you know, that comes up tomorrow, right? In care. So um I think um I can't really share my screen, but I can as well drop link. Maybe I think I can I think I could you stop share so can see can show us I don't know five minutes. Yes, I, I was about to say that. Please go ahead and share. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so um you we have the stop there. Can you see my screen? Um yes, yeah. I can see it. Well you need to pinch okay, it so, in like yeah. Yeah, okay. So so as I was trying to explain, so while um on one hand we are working on the main project, the overall project, so you can as well see like um like a lot of work trying to create you know styles for this different um having this for example this style system is ogre centric right um but I think can also be adaptable for other you know, like for example if you're searching for um like search bar and all that so yeah light mode dark mode so some serious work going in here so this is also um um like designers can actually contribute to this project you know by you don't necessarily have to maybe be an active designer designing the 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 chart part and everything you're seeing here yeah, maybe you can just contribute to um just working on the style guide that controls everything there so um so that's just an aspect right of what we're doing um like i might mention of so creating components you know it's really key to what we're doing you know different styles components but this this actually taking a whole lot of work um so um lami and emmanuel are really involved in this so beyond this right like i mentioned so emmanuel is kind of like also overseeing um the different style system for other projects uh, so going back to this hi-fi I just mentioned. So this is actually the landing page, the one every user see. I think it's actually users of the platform when you log in, will now see the chat and all that interact to that. So when you take a look at this and you go back to the project badging, we have here, you kind of like notice some similarity. So that's just what I was trying to explain. That we're trying to uh, achieve this, right? Similarity among right, across all chaos products, right? And then having a robust, you know, style system, right? For all this. So when next we have projects coming up, um, a lot of these things doesn't have to be designed from scratch. So it's just big components and work with them. So it's also easy even for designers that are not just so like very, very like you would say expert designers. It's also easy for for these designers to contribute because some of these key components have already been designed. So it's almost like a drop and drag and drop stuff. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I just came by my ball. That's uh, pretty much what I have to share. So this was actually the dashboard um, this person Maya shared with me, and um, 
but then this stuff um we kind of achieved this because where is this information coming from where is this data coming from probably means it was manually key in by that mean right and how was that done so when she shared these i shared the feedback i i mentioned earlier about having to create a separate form right where um users can actually fill and make that update and stuff so it's I think this is just an illustration like this. So you just have a table, project name, you know, you can approve, you know, reject project, delete project and stuff. So uh, maybe on our next call, probably have more to share on that. So um, yeah, that's the much I have from my end. So I don't know if we have questions or designers yeah. here that are also interested in contributing to my show. Okay, go thank ahead. you so much, Kinsley. Like this is such good work, and thank you to Maya and uh, I think you mentioned that Emmanuel and Lamy. I guess I think Emmanuel right stars. Yeah, yeah everybody's working on the design system. Like you, you've said a lot of things, so I don't even know where to start from. Um, but uh, on let me let me start from the the last thing you said. Uh, on the admin dashboard and i think desmond has a comment on the chat as well so maybe you will look at that to uh, maybe ad address that question but on the admin panel parts i i think i do agree on the very simple one but for the other one that my designed i don't know maybe it could work with the it's it's more ui friendly so i don't know is that is that one for can that one work for like the out facing website itself like for people to be able to view the project and rather not the admin okay so I oh, think how I, does this I'm... look currently okay you mean can you how... hear me yeah i can hear you now i, Kinsley, I think i have a question please sorry Kinsley, would you like to share your screen again okay yeah no problem okay let me stop sharing Okay, so like this one now, you said this was the dashboard that Maya designed, like the admin dashboard, right? That Maya designed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then you you kind of modified it to look something very simple like this. Like the other one by the side, mm. like the project status. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this hasn't been designed yet. Just this. Okay, an just like something. To... You just an illustration and then to be designed. Okay, great. Okay. Mm. I think I get it now. Yeah, yeah. And then I was saying that I don't know, like for I think I looked at the Air Force webpage before. I think this kind of design really kind of I like it for the main UI project itself, but that's like a long, a long conversation. Like it looks, I like the view projects. Let me see how does it look. Yeah, yeah this is the landing page. Oh, it's all it's all already the same thing. Oh, it's all okay. these are the actual yeah, like yeah, the actual thing. Okay. That yeah. that's one yeah. that's one thing. Thank you for clarifying that. The second thing is on the design system, mm. right? Um, and like I like that we want to make things really um similar. Um, but this is more like this is not a big 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 deal though but like the question i have is uh, when we're achieving something similar will things not start looking the same will people not start getting confused with like um which website is which because if i look at okay. the the um the the augur project the augur redesign project mm. now i will my first thought is I might think it's DI badging, right? So do will okay. people not and again this is not a big I don't know if it is a big deal, but will people not start getting confused at some point with, with that not occur if we make things quite similar as it is right now. Okay, so can I say something? Yeah, yeah sure. 
Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you for the feedback. That's another very valid point. I'm not, not sure I saw things in that light, anyways. Yeah, but then um the thing with um the components too, besides like the color aspects, which I know that's where the emphasis like of this comment lies. Um, so besides the, the color and the overall outlook, you know, components leads kind of like transcends that too. Um, maybe for example, I want to work on input field like this, whether it's blue, yellow, or green, that's the input field is, right? As long as that component has been created, it's easy for you to use it and make changes to that. But for the colors, they are, I think you actually made a valid point and something that I'll look at because of course chaos has you know, a variety of other color styles, though it's sort of like limited though. So maybe we can now try to uniquely apply some of these different colors across different projects rather than you know maintaining the same style like you just mentioned right there so there's a possibility that i find myself on ogo website and i'll be like am i actually on ogo or am i on badging so i'll consider this the user testing feedback so i'll also communicate that with um, other members of the team Right, and mm -hmm. um, maybe you work on something else, yeah. Yeah, we could we could maintain the colors, right? Like I think I think why I'm seeing you for this, like for example, if you go to the chaos website itself, um, I, I think to some extent it's it kind of aligns with the style guide, right? But I won't mistake this too, but I think it's because the pattern the pattern is similar, like that whole a fading thing with the colors are similar with the two yeah. websites. So maybe if we kind of like change the way things look, um, yeah, do you get what I mean? So it could help this differentiate yeah. at least. Um, and then oh, still on this design system as well. I know that for the Air Force websites, I think I'm taking almost all the time, but I know that the for the Air Force websites. Um, it was designed differently. Is there any future yeah. thing, any future plan to align it with the design system? Because like it's totally away. Yeah. So um, you know that was what I mentioned earlier that except maybe we're changing you know things. Um, I personally I saw Afos more like a chaos africa thingy and because of how the projects came that maybe after then probably no need for an extension or something but then um yeah so we now decided to maintain this so i i don't know does it imply that we now have to also kind of like adopt some chaos style yeah because this is just very far away from what like chaos styles look like yeah right, so, so i think or if it's also something that you're open to okay yeah go ahead yeah yeah so i, I think maybe it was at that time the grant came in i think maybe that's what like caused that so anything that usually that chaos africa creates is under the chaos project right it's not independent um so I, I think the 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 thing then was like with the grant, I wasn't sure if like it was even going to continue, like you said, right? If we were going to like and because the idea came up as a very good idea, it's it's good that we keep um developing the website, right? So but just for future refer future purposes, like anything that Chaos Africa, any initiative or anything chaos creates is under the chaos project so yeah so it should maintain style guy um yes yeah, so, okay, so that's you. that for those are my questions and one last thing is i don't know i, I think you said this thing has been done the the chaos um chaos balkans did you send it to me i'm trying to remember if it was sent to me, chaos the what? Chaos Balkans, the Chaos Balkans um logo and Chaos Latam. Okay, was okay, sent okay, to okay. Me. Yeah, that was sent. Um, I think you check your. Sure. Yeah, I'll just start to. I guess, uh... Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
All right. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, just quick one too. So um this one, I don't know if we can just have a quick this thing on um Slack. Maybe we can just discuss more about this on Slack. I'm just dropping it here. So okay. So well done, Kinsley and the design team. That was very um very nice to see. And before we move on, I want to quickly um, acknowledge and appreciate Desmond Obisi is on the call and um, Catherine Kiro also, they made sure, and then Hinok also, three of them made sure that they brought our force back to life again. It's been, <laughs> it's been resuscitated and I think I'm happy to see that uh, we can look to uh, contributing to our force and uh, our developers will have more things to contribute to, to. So thank you very much. Please give your reactions to, <laughs> to, to these three. Thank you. All right, moving on. Um, community managers, is Mary Blessing around? Let me check. Or who would like to go? Cheers. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, Denka. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Yeah, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. So, um, there is not a lot going on with the community uh, managers group, but an update is still on the ambassador program, right, which we've been working on, and um, that has not yet been finalized. Um, myself and Elizabeth were looking to um, tidy things up and just um, make some final decisions before we share with the general community again, right? So, um, so yeah, and we are also restarting the chaos communications um, working group which there's just been a conversation if the community managers working group is going to go under that, that or not but i don't know what the decision is going to be eventually but yeah that's also up and um folks that are interested in social media management content writing right can also like be a part of that working group as well so um that's all when there's like an update on the ambassador program then um i would also share with everyone thank you adinka any days questions yeah thank you mary blessing for that update um do we have questions for mary blessing let me see session okay any question okay so um let's go to disability and inclusion partnership with project enable um who would be handling that with i don't know if um victoria is on the okay. call or Winifred, any of them. Yeah, hi she's on the call. everyone. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so update so far, we have been able to get through to I'm oh, sorry about that. We have been able to get through to project enable, which was like a problem in the whole planning process. So we've gotten through to them and we've picked a date. So we still have other things work in progress, like putting out our um, publicity poster. I the poster is ready. I think I already reached out to Oluchi, so but I haven't given her all the feedback just yet. Right. So when I do, she probably would fix it in on her calendar to start publicity. And we also have plans to call for volunteers as well and other plans in progress like speakers for the events and every other thing so i don't know if brian is in the call but on our last meeting we worked on the budget and plans to um, get the process ongoing 
uh, I, I think that's all so far from me. I don't know if there's anything I'm omitting. Hi, Winifred, do you want to cover on anything I've missed? Hi, Victoria. No, no, I think you have it. Like You've had the major part of it covered. Thank you. Yeah, so I guess that's it so far. So we picked a date already. Um, obviously, when we put out the publicity, everyone was into the date. Or oh, I don't know if I should mention it here, but yeah, we picked the date. We sent um, the feedback to them. That's all. Okay, thank you, Victoria. So for context for others, um, the the disability um inclusion team. So. Um, also, I think additional context on that team is that um, earlier on this year, we had a sub team that would focus on um, creating a more safe space for people living with disabilities um, in you know open source communities, right? And um, Winnie, Fred, Brian, and Victoria, I think Victoria and Pecoria are part of that team. So they have been working on putting together an event. And lately, we've been able to partner with Project Enable, which is, um, I think, an NGO that, um, you know, advocates for people living with disability and they have, like, community of um, those people. Um, so we are trying to partner with them and do an outreach event to talk about open source um to people that already have tech skill um tech skills so to talk about open source how they can get in you know how they can also uh, make their voices heard like you know talk about open source and then um ways they can make their voices heard in tech so we have been working on that event. Um, it's going to be on the let me what's the date again? Um I'm trying to remember the date. 11th June, of June. June the eleventh, yeah. So it's going to be June the eleventh. And we're also requiring that project enable provide us with like space um to run the event and then would we'll come with like people and then some swags. So Project Enable is based in Lagos. Um, I'm not sure what, what where their address is, but they're based in Lagos. Um, and the hope is to have like a two to three hours event that day. So more details will be communicated soon. But this is what they have been working on um so far. Um, I think they would also work on an agenda and you know, people from the community can also talk about like can also find ways to help or to volunteer that day for the event so yeah so if there are any questions or any feedback or any things um, or if you want to also even be part of that group um, as well you can reach out to either of them um, they have a slack chat um, I, I think I would create a a a slack channel just after this meeting so things can also be in the open as well so people can participate better um in conversation so if there's okay. any question you can let me know or victoria okay so ruth we have like um say 11 minutes before we wrap up i would like us to probably select um very urgent things to discuss. For instance, we have the open source and energy hackathon next week. Are you the one to take that? Oh well, yeah. So um okay. yeah it's, can you, uh, can you run through events. Okay, yeah, can you run just, through just, just to highlight and... Okay. Yeah, I can just highlight that. Um it's just it's an event that's happening in Abuja next week. So for people based in Abuja, you'd um want to attend that is the the Attendance is like the registration is closed for physical, but the for physical registration, um, you can also register virtually, attend virtually. But there will be a hackathon. I think the hackathon um registration is still open. So if you're in Abuja, I should. It's um the ninth to tenth of May, so you can check it out. Mm, yeah. So for GitHub Copilot in Africa, so 
Um, we are soon to start another project um, for GitHub Copilots. Um, not so much details on my end, but GitHub is giving us um, a giving us 250 licenses um, for the period of two years um, to do a research a research project, an academic research project that um, is going to be run by um, University of Nebraska and Georgia State University. So the aim of the research is to see the impact of GitHub Copilots or even like generative AI tools in um, the life of Africans using GitHub Copilot as an example. Um, I'm still working on the structure, but we'll be, Chaos Africa will be in charge of running workshops across the five regions in Africa um, over the period of a year. Like after, after the workshops, we will also um, keep in touch with the research participants to see how influential or how Copilot has been able to help them after six to one six months to one year. So yeah, that's a summary of what that's that's about. But I'll have more details by the next meeting. Yeah, so that's I think I did good. If there are any questions, you can let me know. Okay, thank you very much, Ruth. Are there questions? Anybody? Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Yeah, let's see sorry, what else. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Jacob. Go ahead. So, um, when I wanted to join the meeting, the the uh, before I used to check the meeting on the calendar, and it was when uh, Yinka sent you sent me a message that I knew that okay, there's going to be a meeting today. If not, and I checked my calendar this morning, so I um I now went to the site. So that was when I now knew that there was a change in the calendar. I don't know um, what has happened, but I tried to register with the team of uh, whatever platform it is to, so I can get um, notification. So basically what I'm saying is how do we uh, keep up to date with the, with the calendar stuff? Because I was having, I was always in the meeting whenever um, I check my calendar, I know that, okay, I have meetings so, 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 so. I don't know um, how that... Oh, yeah. Happened. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's so recent, um, some weeks ago, we kind of like, um, I will send you a message on how to re-add the meeting to your calendar again. There was like a whole change that we did with the calendar system. I think I, I can use the next seven minutes to even explain this, but I'll just send you like the... Um, broadcast that Elizabeth sent for people to re-add the calendar um, to their own personal calendar. So sorry about okay. that. All right. And then the last one is um, somebody saw the T-shirt on me, uh, Ocean State University, and the question of um, having um, communities um, about open source in the university. And um, I don't know if it's part of the education uh, project and if it's also part of what um, Mary Blessing is working on. So, but then... Oh, interesting. So... Yeah, so... Okay, that's that's nice. Um, The education project is... We are trying to create uh, videos for people to learn about chaos, so it's not connected to that. But I, I think it's a bit connected to the ambassadors one, but I think it's people that are already in chaos. So maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe Mary Blessing can answer if it's within scope. But if it's not, um, you can direct that person to me. Okay, all right. All right, no problem. Thank you. Okay, so we have three other things on the agenda. Do you think we can cover all? We have just six minutes to go. Or should we move um, it to the next meeting? So it's the, the three things, the social media space, I was just highlighting that there was a space yesterday and just letting people know. Um, well done to all the speakers. Um, I think um, Peculia, Mary Blessing, Busayo was on that space and Oluchi as well. We had like a partner space with them. So maybe if Oluchi is there, she can drop the link and people, it was about uh, 
community metrics in open source. I was able to join, but I'll catch up on the recording. Um, and then accessibility audit. I was just going to ask um questions around what's happening there. I have not been seeing it occurring, so. So two people have um their quite their hands raised. We have um Tim Tokwe and one other person. Please. Um okay, should we take the questions and then go for the audits after? Yeah, yeah, we can take the question then. Okay, Tim Tokwe, please go ahead. Hi, hi everyone. Good afternoon. Um Good afternoon. I wanted to talk about the um project to um the first project we talked about in developing um the website for badging. I'm not entirely sure, but it was the first item on the list I've talked about. I came in mid um mid the conversation, so it, it piqued my interest, but I did I did not have um enough information about it. So that's what I need to ask about. Mm, I think it was during when we were talking about the issue. So the the website's already developed. I think there are still some pending issues and people are not able to... I don't know if you joined when we were talking about it in development or in design. So people are not... like There are a lot of people that are taking up the issues and not able to finish it or not um, writing commit messages or when they're sending in PRs. So the, the issues that there are a lot of issues. There are a lot of like tickets on, on the to solve some certain things, but it has not been attended to. So I'm not sure if you joined when we're talking about it in development or in design. No, so, I, I, um, I was not. Okay, so what I would say is um can we can we have a chat in the Slack session? Um in the Slack um in Slack, sorry. Sure. I, I, sure. I can update you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thank I think you. that would be the best person to update you there because she's leading that team. So thank you. Yeah, that'll be oh, fine. Oh, okay. All right. So let's have the very quickly accessibility audit team. Peculia, how are you going? Uh, oh, okay. I, hi, it's not peculiar, Historia. So I wanted okay, okay. to, yeah, sure. So um, for now, it, it was kind of quiet and a little intention now, um, given the plan so, so far with the disability inclusion team, I was a little distracted and other work, of course. Then I think for Yiga, she was unavoidably absent. I don't know if she wants to talk about it or, but, Oh, okay. She said I can. So she lost someone. So she has actually been quiet and she has been in a quiet phase so far. And then myself, I've been engaged with other activities, chaos, the planning and everything. But she's back now. So we have to pick it up for next week. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, you girl, we are so sorry to hear about that. Please um take her. And uh, we pray that God will call you, okay? Are you there? Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, I was okay. on the move. Thank you. It's fine. It's fine. And thank you for the good work you're doing. It's chaos. We actually missed you when you were not around. Um, welcome back. Okay. Um. So we have the education projects remaining. Um, guys. Uh, please just indulge us. Um, another two minutes, and then we'll wrap up. Let's have the education project. So I put that in the notes just to um ask about. Quickly, are there ways that Chaos Africa members can help with the education project? I know, so to some extent, things are taking a different turn. Yes, sure. There are ways they can help, like 
um, coming into be part of it, um, being able to write the scripts for big topics because we have a lot of topics already on ground and um, some topic uh, presently, some persons are working on some topics mm -hmm. and we need uh, more people. And after a while, um, things will be taken another turn just like you said so i uh, will want a lot of us and chaos to come in at this point because um it will be nice for a lot of videos and uh, be recorded by members of chaos africa uh, before we give out to other people to take up the other parts of the remaining uh topics so um, content writers you can I'm also doing that so you can come in to be part of it look at the topics and see the one you can uh, work on what we need is you write a script uh, prepare a presentation those things are not difficult the script is just being written as if one is like just the way we we are we're discussing now like that will help someone to understand one or two about the topic then you record the video and to be reviewed and sent so whatever you are going to be writing uh, will be reviewed and if there's any correction you're not going to be just left out let alone to do it so you'll be someone I will work with you. So we need more people at this point uh, to come in. But after a while, uh, things are trying to take another turn where I will give those things topic out to other people that I won't be able to mention to take care of. So I'm actually calling a lot of us here, accessibility, uh, design, uh, and others badging yeah oh, at least those are i know them Sorry, yeah uh, i know Pe 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 yeah. Pe i'm going to ask a question are there um um some scripts that has technical uh that needs technicalities like um probably git or something that a developer can actually take up yes the, the point is this you're not coding there you're actually yeah. trying to you're writing Okay, version. What is it all about? That's just what you're writing. Oh, that a oh. beginner can just look at, or a newcomer can just look at that what you've written and the video you recorded, and the person can easily navigate the okay. version project. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be good for the tech writers for coach group also. So probably exactly. take that there also. Okay. Please, is there a question? Any question for um? Okay, let me check the chat section to see. Okay, so Jacob, you said something about making video on how to go about pull requests. So can you reach out to Peculiar on this so that we can wrap up the meeting? Thank you very much, everyone. I want Thank you to so have... much, Adin Kazo, <laughs> for facilitating. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, so I want to encourage everyone as we go, please don't do things alone. If you are having a challenge creating pull requests or even how to start something in chaos, please reach out to any one of us and we'll be happy to help, whatever it is. If we don't know anything about that space, we can uh, happily point you to the right person to talk to. Uh, till then, Stay good and stay kind. Thank you. <laughs> bye, everyone. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.